Hey, this is Matthias Ringer with Guitar Control, and today you're going to be learning this really awesome chord progression and lick. As usual, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for daily guitar lessons, and there's a link in the description. Tap on it or click on it so you can download the tab. Let's get down to it. All right, so the first thing that we're going to do, we're going to check out the progression. Then after that, we're going to learn the lick. So the progression, actually, I'm going to simplify it for you, and then we're going to go into the actual... Uh, um, the actual shapes that I'm playing, okay? So the first shape that I'm playing, I'm playing an E major. Okay? After that, I am going into a C sharp minor. And after that, I'm going into an A major, and back to E major. Now, don't worry about the shapes, because we're not actually going to be playing these shapes, okay? So, just for you to know, but I'm pretty sure that you know already the E major and the A major list, okay? Now, now for the actual shapes that we're doing, we're going to go into the E major that is on the seventh fret. This one you probably play like this. It's actually very, very easy to play. The, the way that I like to, to show it to people is that, imagine an A major chord, right? You probably know this one, and if you don't know it, let me show it to you. You play the open fifth, then on the fourth string you go into the second fret, on the third string you go into the third fret, and on the uh, second string you go into the second fret. So just like that. And now use your use your middle ring and pinky finger, okay? Now check this out. If you move this one step up, and then you put your index finger on the first one, because imagine imagine that right here. Um, this white part of the guitar right here that you see, it's going to be your index finger, your imaginary index finger, okay? But if you move, if you move you half step up, you, you don't have it anymore pressing on the string, so you need to put your index finger there, right? So what you're going to do, you're going to grab that shape and you're going to move it so the index finger lands on the seventh fret and the rest of the fingers are on the ninth fret, right? That's your E major right there. Now, after that, what you're going to do, you're going to keep these fingers right here and just change the index to the 9th fret of the 6th string. And after that, you can go into your normal A, but I like to go into this one. So for this one, I like to do it as an E major, but I, what I like to do is I like to place my index finger on the 5th fret of the 6th string, ring finger on the 7th fret of the 5th string, uh, pinky finger on the 7th fret of the 4th string and then my middle finger on the 6th fret of the 3rd string and then 2nd and 1st are open mm -hmm. Alright, so it ends up something like this So we got Now, of course, I am not really playing it exactly with those fingers. It really depends on the situation, but in this case, sometimes I like to play it. You can play it like this if it's easier for you. It's not gonna change. But I like to play it sometimes with the index and the pinky. Because then I can just put this one right here. And then I can just go. But perhaps for you it's a little bit hard, but there's an option for you to play it. Now, about the rhythm, it goes like this. And then it goes the licks, and again. So what, what we're doing, basically we're playing um, the lowest note twice and then the chord, okay? So in this case, we play the seventh fret of the fifth string or the open six. Then you go into this one. So you play six, six, chord. Then again, six, six, chord. Right? And of course, in between each chord, we have the lick that we're going to check out right now. So. About the lick, there's two uh, phrases that we're doing. The first one that is rep that repeats the most, you're gonna go into the 11th fret of the fourth string, and you're gonna play the 11th fret of the fourth string, then you're gonna grab your index and go into the ninth fret of the third and second, okay? And then on the third and second, you're gonna place uh, in the uh, ring finger on the 11th fret and middle finger on the 10th fret. So like that, right? 
But what you're going to do after, you're going to pull off. Just like that. Just like that. So practice that. Now, after that, we're going to do back on the 11, back on the 9th, on the 3rd and 2nd, okay? Then you're going to go into the 9th fret of the 4th string, and check out, on the 5th string you're going to go into 11th fret and play it and slide down, okay? And then pull off to the 7th. That's it. After that, it repeats. Right? So you're like. Now, see, that's the reason why I prefer sometimes to use different fingers because once you come from here, I like to go just like this with my middle finger and then place the ring finger on the fourth, uh, ninth fret of the fourth, and then with the pinky, I play two notes. See, I play the third and the second. One. And I lift it up a little bit so I don't play the the first. So again, now going to this one again, and now finally the last lick that happens only at the end. Okay, so you do E major, C sharp minor, A, and they all have the same lick. This one right after. But then when you go finally into the E, we're going to play this one. It has the similar it has a similar ending but a different beginning. Okay, so what you're gonna do you're gonna go into the ninth fret of the fourth string and you're going to play the ninth fret of the fourth string and then you go into the third and second string and place your ring and middle finger on the eleven and tenth fret and you slide up okay two frets so they end up on the 13 and 12. And then you play it again and immediately slide down. So, so in reality, this should sound like you're playing, right? But since we have the slide at the beginning, it should sound like this, right? So you don't want to do, you want to do it fast, you know? You don't want to do, no, it needs to be fast, okay? So, after doing that, we end up, of course, this one that you already know, in 9th fret of the 3rd and 2nd string, so... And after that, you go into the... You just repeat the same as the same as before. You go into the 11th fret of the 4th string, 9th fret of the 3rd and 2nd, 9th fret of the 4th string, then you go into the 11th of the 5th and slide down, pull off, okay? And start again. So you have four chords, E major, C sharp minor, uh, A major, and again E major. And then it repeats, E major, C sharp, C sharp minor, I'm sorry, E major, C sharp minor, A major, E major, E major, C sharp minor, A major, E major, and that's it. So it's a very, very simple um, lick. It seems that it's complicated, but you don't have to play it super hard. You can play it like fast. You can play like really slow like this. You know? So yeah, what I would suggest that you do is that you practice the chords and the lick separately at, the, at first, right? So start with this. And then go. And then separately practice. And practice this one. And you can also divide the lick into parts. Like for example, you could practice this part until it happens. You, know? you could practice this part. And yeah. So anyway, that's all for today. And I hope you've enjoyed this lesson. It's a really, really cool progression and lick. And um, 
you can incorporate other chords, you can, trans uh, you can transpose the lick into other keys and it's going to work great. As usual, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for daily guitar lessons. Also, there's a link in the description. Um, click on it, tap on it, and uh, you're going to get the tab. Also, I would love to know, what's your favorite scale on guitar? Leave a comment down below with your answer. Thank you so much for watching.